Today we're having a conversation about health, wellness, and the spirit. Look at our doctor who is here today, Dr. Maisha Claiborne. Dr. Maisha Claiborne. Dr. Maisha Claiborne. Dr. Maisha Claiborne. Who is the author of a book called Eat Your Disease Away. Welcome to the program, Dr. Claire Boyd. Thank you for having me, Portia. Integrative medicine doctor and founder of Mind, Body, Spirit, Wellness, Inc. here in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Talk It Out. Why should we be very concerned about what we eat? Well, you know, the basis of all of disease is inflammation. And one of the things that I really talk about in the book is how important it is to, to keep it simple. I wanted to do something different with medicine. So I specialize in integrative medicine. What does that mean? I integrate in holistic therapies with my traditional medical degree. So that means I have my foot in both sides of the, you know, just both, the, both worlds, basically. Hi, I'm Dr. Maisha Claiborne, internationally recognized family and integrative medicine doctor, two-time author, career burnout and fulfillment specialist, and physician business and entrepreneurship coach. That are making the transition away from clinical medicine. And so we begin our discussion about the business side of medicine with people who work in the business. First up, I'm, doing, I'm joined by Dr. Felicia Dawson, Dr. Maisha Claiborne, and Maria Francis, who's CEO and owner of SEMA Clinics. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome to this Thursday edition of Closer Look. I'm Rose Scott. I'm going to start with the doctors, Dr. Dawson and Dr. Claiborne. Let me begin with you. What year did you all begin your practice when you were, we'll get to that, when you were in practice? Today's guest, Dr. Maisha Claiborne, is a family physician turned wellness and career coach. You know, what short advice would you give to any physician who's in that s situation? They're thinking of leaving medicine and they don't really know which direction to go. And I guess in a nutshell, just if thinking back to all the clients you've worked with, are there one or two common issues that, that you would advise they address? When you're thinking about transition, you have to know where you are. You have to know what you want in order to know where you're going. I experienced burnout twice in my career, but it wasn't until I lost two of my own classmates to suicide that I realized I was not alone. That's why I now specialize in helping moms in medicine reclaim their time, create their ideal career, so they can have more time for themselves, more time for their families, and live a life by their design. I'm an expert in such topics as physician wellness, career burnout, career transition, business and medicine, and physician entrepreneurship. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I want to welcome you here tonight. And I want to thank you all for being here. I actually came out feeling that sense of burnout. So what you're going to find out is that burnout doesn't just start after you start practicing medicine. It actually starts, studies show, in medical school. Oftentimes, we have spent a lot of money to get our degrees. And so, you know, once you're out in the world and you're, you may have a family, there may be a sense of feeling fat. So first, I just want to thank Dr. Gray for inviting me to do this uh, Grand Rounds. And just to acknowledge that, you know, that I'm able to provide a topic like this is a credit to the type of organization that you work with um, that really cares about the well-being of their docs. It's, it, that's sort of the way I, I, I see it. The community at large not really seeing us, I would, I would reframe it as seeing us as human beings. You know, that's the culture. That's the culture. That's not just the culture inside of, of our industry, but it's the culture outside, how they look at it, how it's portrayed. And so, you know, we, we almost don't get to be human beings. I think that um, part of the solution around beginning to shift that is to, to be being real with our patients. You know, not like to pour our feelings out to them or anything, but like, you know, just be human beings around them rather than sometimes I think our chances we get so focused on just um, being the doctor that is for robots a little bit. And uh, that's, that, again, that's a personal view. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Thank you for playing, for participating, and take action, take action. Right now, I want to declare something with you, and I want you to declare something with me. I am perfect, whole, and complete. I am perfect, whole, and complete. I am unleashed self-expression. I am unleashed self-expression. 
and I really, really want to thank you for being here and for listening to me like I'm bigger than life. <laughs> thank you. See a full list of my topics below, and if you don't see what you're looking for, no worries. Contact me directly with your questions. I pride myself in being a qualified expert. I love connecting with audiences. And that's why I know that I would be a great addition to your speaking opportunity or media broadcast. Visit me at www.drmaisha.com. That's www.drmaisha.com. I look forward to speaking with you.